Now, as much as I would love to talk about King Arthur and the Legend of the Sword and tell you it's the worst movie I have seen this year and maybe even worse than Gods of Egypt and The Mummy combined, let's just talk about a good movie this time around. It's showtime. What's up, guys? Django Fat here, hunting down games, comics, TV shows, movies, and more. And it's time to start a series, probably not a big series, but something I want to start, and that is the Studio Ghibli Fest that's going on. So, Studio Ghibli is featuring Studio Ghibli films, such as Nausicaa, and, um, you know, Princess Mononoke, and a bunch of other, you know, popular Studio Ghibli films in theaters. So, I managed to watch Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, in theaters and had a blast once again now I have to say this is by far one of my favorite films of all time easily top 10 maybe even top 5 it's just that good of a movie it's easily my favorite Studio Ghibli film it's an instant classic I love everything about that film I have yet to read the manga the manga right here which I did collect one of these when I was at Baltimore Comic Con Still have yet to get the whole manga series, but I wanted to get one of these, even though this is volume 3 on here. Um, what I'm looking at here, it's pretty bloody and it's pretty different, to say the least. I know one of the trivia things when I went, went to watch this in theaters was that the fact that this was, it took like 13 years, I think it was 12 or 13 years, to create the whole manga series. Like, I mean, it took some time, but you know, 12, 13 years, that's a lot of time dedicated to one series. That's pretty crazy to me. Now, Nausicaa, if you don't know, is one of Hayao Miyazaki's creation. It's written and directed by Hayao Miyazaki himself, came, coming out in 1984, and it's an epic science fiction fantasy film, and based on the 1982 manga of the same name. This movie would eventually be re-released, in the English format in 2005, dubbed by many amazing actors, which I will get to sooner than later, but coming out in 2005, re-released in 2005, and eventually coming out, you know, in Blu-ray on 2010. And I actually have the Blu-ray myself. Bam! Right here, the Blu-ray. I've still yet to see this in Blu-ray, but I've seen this movie countless times four to five times easily and the idea of seeing a Studio Ghibli film in theaters just blew me away and I had to go out and see it and surprisingly enough there was like quite a bit of people there's like 20 something people there you know bringing their kids as well and that's pretty awesome parents bringing their kids and getting them involved with Studio Ghibli films and getting them to appreciate it that's Freaking awesome! Studio Ghibli films are made for the whole family, practically. More so than others, I think Princess Monarchy is kind of different. I don't think it's something you should bring your kids to. But the rest of the films have always been like family-friendly. And when I say family-friendly, that it's just such a bad term and that's not made for the adults. It really is. It's made for adults to really understand, kids to have fun with. And made for everybody. With Nausicaa, it's... I don't know how best to describe this film. Because it's one of the greatest things I have ever seen. I just don't know how best to describe it. It really is a period piece. It really is. The gist of this is that it's taking place in a future post-apocalyptic world. The film tells the story of Nausicaa, the young princess of the Valley of the Wind. She becomes embroiled in a struggle with Tomikia, a kingdom that tries to use an ancient weapon to eradicate a jungle of mutant giant insects. There's so much to the, f to the film than that little description right there. I'm just reading the Wikipedia. I could even read this too. But thanks to Spirited Away, that was actually my first film that made me appreciate Studio Ghibli. I've uncovered this film. This was the second film I watched. And it was instantly my favorite. Instantly my favorite and easily one of the greatest animated films of all time. I think it's just that 
freaking great. What makes this great is so many things. First off, let's talk about the cast, the English cast. Nausicaa, played by Alison Lo Lohman, pretty good. Lord Yupa, played by Patrick Stewart. Mm -hmm. Asbo, played by Shia LaBeouf, look at that. This is before he became insane. Kushana, Uma Thurman. Mito, played by Edward James Olmos. And Mark Hamill, playing as the mayor of Pegite. Mark Hamill will eventually be in another film as well. Another Studio Ghibli film. But anyway, that's a great cast right there. And they all voiced it perfectly. And it helps that the music is phenomenal in this movie. You can say it's good and bad, but I'm going to say it's good. It's really good because of the score by Joe Hashashi, who composed this film. It's just the opening theme, and it's just... It plays throughout the film. Not so much that it irritates you, but it plays it just enough to give you that oomph and really the feels, man. The feels are strong with this film, man, overall. Just by playing this theme alone, the emotional level is heightened up to another level. Just this theme alone, the opening theme. I cannot play this due to copyright reasons, but definitely listen to it. I'll put a link down below in the description to check out the soundtrack on YouTube. It's just fucking crazy. This film in itself is also about the environment. It's about environmentalism, um, climate change in a way, how, you know, the struggle with humanity. You know, they're always constantly at war, even in a post-apocalyptic world. And what is defined as good? There's just so many freaking themes that I could point out. Uh, environmental one is the biggest one out there. You know, self-destruction. Um, basically, humans destroying themselves to a point where they're their own downfall. Where they're causing their own destruction and causing the earth just to come against them. But there is a way to bond with the earth and to survive. And the fact that you have a strong female lead of Nausicaa, and I, I love what Hayao Miyazaki does. He does this with most of his films, he like helms and creates, is make a strong female character that you can grow a bond with and love. You know, before the Studio Ghibli films, I didn't really see it that much with even American films, uh, surprisingly enough. This, like, the Japanese really appreciate what female, like, the female leads are, and made them these strong, powerful presences. And Hayao Miyazaki never shies away from that. What blows my mind the most, out of Pretty much before the digital age of anime, and I, I'm kind of biased when it comes to anime because I love the hand-drawn stuff more so than the digital computer age stuff. You know, I can appreciate some of it, but if it's too digital and it's just, it just becomes too off-putting to me, I don't know how best to describe it. Pretty much, I'm a old-school fan. So with Nausicaa coming out in 1984, this is before the digital age. Everything is hand-drawn. Everything is hand-drawn. The insects, the characters, the backgrounds, everything is hand-drawn. The characters are so animated very well. The colors are vibrant. It is a little noticeable with the backgrounds, a little uneven at times with the characters, but it's 1984 and it's hand-drawn and it's just still freaking mind-blowing to me, okay? I will give it a pass for that. And even the music itself too, it has that 80s theme, and I'm a big fan of the 80s, so I'll let that go too. But it is, it's a little outdated in some ways. Hence, the movie came out in 1984. You should give it a pass. Just a great, incredible story. A beautiful story. With this character of Nausicaa, and just, you know, trying to save her village. Trying to co coexist with the insects. Who, people think they're gonna destroy her. And just have this great struggle going on. Bonding with the earth. Bonding with the environment. And 
I've wanted to talk about this movie for quite some time, and I just didn't know how to really approach it. And I still don't know how to approach it. I'm just spewing out nonsense at this point. But I'm just spewing out just the love I have for this movie more so than anything else. So, without a doubt, I mean, it's easy. I mean, it's my favorite film of all time. I got like two freaking prints of Nausicaa on the wall easily. But anyway, Nausicaa the Valley of the Wind gets a... one of the greatest films of all time in my opinion it's easily one of my favorites you're really missing out if you haven't seen it for yourself it's just a beautiful and emotional story of the character of Nausicaa and the music helps with that as well and the animation is done very well it's just a phenomenal phenomenal movie and I cannot wait to get into the manga I'm planning to get that whole big book of the whole manga series and you know delving into that because I love the lore and I want to know more about that and apparently you know these books apparently add so much to the lore that I need to check out and need to read I'll definitely review these uh, you know this book the big whole collection one of these days I'm telling you guys um, because I love I love this film so much I want to delve into the lore so much um, you know I've seen this film so many times and it's just cherished in my heart and it's just an instant classic please please for the love of God if you haven't seen this film go out and check this out Hayao Miyazaki just creates legendary films you know Spirited Way, Nausicaa, Princess Monarchy the guy knows how to create intense and powerful films. Just pow powerful when it, com when it comes to emotion and characters. And blend that together to make a great and concise story. Once you have a great plot, you have a great premise, you can do pretty much anything. And back in that time, and especially with the Japanese nowadays, they know how to create you know, intense and great stories. More so than I can say for fucking Hollywood nowadays you don't see stories like this movies like this nowadays because there's no heart into this but there is clear as day heart when it comes to this more so i can say for this fucking piece of shit so thank you guys so much for watching i will be planning on doing some more of the studio ghibli films eventually um i definitely want to see those in theaters princess monarchy spirited away I would definitely want to check those out and see what they're like for sure. I I'm not going to be able to watch every single one, but I'm going to try my best to see what it's like um, and check it out in theaters for sure. So don't forget to please like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel Django Fat, and I'll see you, my fellow Mandalorian brothers and sisters, next time. Ooh, yeah!